Welcome to another interesting program titled, What's Up at the Sea? And that particular program has to do with the local Bella Vista Police Chief, James Graves. Thank you for being with us today. Sure, Milt, happy to be here. And uh, if you viewers out there would have any questions that you'd like for us to ask on future shows, be sure that you call in 855-4040, leave the question, and we'll be sure to ask it on a future program. And you brought with you an outstanding guest. Yes, yes, sir, I did. Uh, I'd like to introduce uh, Tabitha Titchener. Um, Tabitha is uh, currently our, our court clerk for our, uh, for our new Bella Vista City Court, and so I thought it would be a great time to bring Tabitha along to explain a little bit about her duties and her functions uh, and, and the new court in, in Bella Vista that we have. Outstanding, outstanding. I'm sure a lot of people have asked themselves, well, why do we need a court in Bella Vista? They don't really realize our growth and the need and so forth. So, sure, it was it was it was decided a while back um, that uh, because of the the expense of uh, going to uh, the, the Bentonville uh, District Court mm -hmm. uh, and the distance for our officers and the time it took us there, that it would probably be more advantageous both both financially as well as uh, the time our officers spend uh, in Bentonville on court day mm -hmm. to actually open up a, a, a district court within the city of Bella Vista. Excellent. Uh, that was decided uh, a while ago, and then we've been in the process this last year uh, getting uh, that, that court built, uh, getting Tabitha hired, getting the procedures in place. Uh, what this will allow us to do is uh, instead of, you know, we have a court date once a month, Instead of uh, most of the department, uh, the, the commission police officers being in Bentonville waiting for their, their trial times for their different various uh, tickets and arrests that they make, um, which leaves uh, no officers in Bella Vista at that time, mm -hmm. uh, we can have those officers now waiting in the Bella Vista uh, District Court um, uh, f on court days. And so if something happens in Bella Vista, they'll be able to respond to those emergencies if they need to. And it and, and doesn't leave uh, the city without uh, its law enforcement officers. Uh, plus, uh, we believe uh, in the end that we could run a court uh, uh, at, at, a, at a lower cost and expense to the citizens of Bella Vista uh, as opposed to going to the, uh, the Bentonville uh, uh, District Court. Okay. And so, maybe in that explanation you can tell people what is the court and why do we need it out here? as opposed to continually going in. And you just mentioned one thing, the expense, the waiting time, police officers being away from their job, and many times not being able to resolve it the day that they did go, but they have to postpone it and come back and come back sure. and sure. so forth. And it can be confusing as well for the citizens because they, they receive a ticket or something in Bella Vista, mm -hmm. and at times it's very confusing for them to think they have to go to Bentonville to take care of that. And so we've had some confusion in the past in regards to that. So I think overall, it's going to be a, it's going to be a win-win for the citizens of Bella Vista, uh, the police department, and, and, and the, the 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 government structure we have in place here as well as far as uh, being more efficient, and more effective uh, for everyone involved. Excellent. Um, and what we may do in, at the beginning here is to actually talk a little bit about <clears throat> what the court really does. Sure. Sure. Uh, I've, I've never had to go to a traffic court, and uh, I sometimes say to myself, I know we've got one, and I think I know what they do, but <clears throat> tell, tell me, the viewer, why we need one. And as you mentioned, uh, it's uh, keeping your police force local sure, and making it much more convenient, even though you have to pay the ticket. It's convenient for you to get there as opposed to driving a distance. No, absolutely, and the convenience is one of the big things, uh, the cost being another. Um, again, I think all in all, it's gonna be a, a positive for the citizens here, um, and in the end, it's gonna save us uh, save us some money uh, as far as the city government's concerned. Excellent. Um, I thought maybe it would be a good time, uh, you know, we can have, uh, uh, Ms. Titchener, uh, explain a little bit, bit about her functions and, and how someone, when they receive a ticket, uh, how they would go about uh, paying that fine or resolving that issue uh, within the Bella Vista City Court. And I thought maybe it would be a good time for her to explain maybe how that would take place, being that she's going to be our court clerk. Excellent. We look forward to it. Okay. 
Um, currently, we are writing tickets for the Bella Vista District Court. Anything from November 1st forward will be handled in Bella Vista. Anything written previous to November 1st will still be held in Bentonville. So that can also be a little confusing until we get all that worked out. Um, folks can come by and see me. Um, I'm at 612 West Lancashire Boulevard. Um, they can come by and pay their ticket or they can come by and ask any question they have or they can give me a call and I'll be happy to help them with any questions. It is confusing and sometimes it can be pretty anxious for people to figure out their way through the court process. Now at the beginning you mentioned we are writing tickets. Now, well, does that mean that you are writing tickets? No, I'm, in clo I'm just encompassing myself into the, um, the fold there. Oh. The police department is writing tickets um, beginning November 1st forward. I've already had some folks come in and pay their tickets or ask some questions. And I just, it'll be happening more and more. So. Okay, excellent. So one, one thing I'd like to add uh, in regards to tickets, uh, it just jarred my memory when Ms. Uh, Titchener brought that up. Uh, is is for folks to remember that you know if they receive a ticket uh, on a on a Monday, uh, not to run down the next day if they want to pay their fine to the court. Uh, we have to give the ticket some time to work its way uh, through uh, the various steps it needs to go to before it actually gets down to the court and to Miss mm. Titchener her, herself. She needs that hard copy of the ticket herself before she can actually accept a fine. So, so if somebody receives a ticket. Uh, from uh, within in Bella Vista, I would probably give it, uh, you know, a good uh, five days or so, five working days before they try to go down and, and pay that fine. Oh, all right. They can also call uh, Miss Titchener, Titchener down at the court uh, and ask her if uh, they're able to come down and, and pay the fine at this time, and she'll let them know. Okay. Uh, it'll just save them a trip from going down there and being told, "I'm sorry, you know, we can't accept your 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 payment right now." Mm -hmm. uh, it'll just save them that trip. So call down there and, and make sure that uh, she has the hard copy of the ticket in hand before you before they come down and try to pay a fine. Excellent. Now it mm -hmm. might be helpful. Uh, if you have a phone number that they can call. Absolutely. My phone number is 479-367-7625. And please give me a call if you get a ticket, and I can let you know if I've received that yet, and I'll be able to take your fine. Okay. Now, some people are slow writers. <laughs> and people who give telephone numbers, and I'm death on this, is they call you up and they say, well, call, call such and such a number. And... You finally got the pin, and they're done giving the number. That's true. So let's give the number one more sure. time and pretend that I'm a real slow learner. Okay, it's 479-367-7625. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. And if for some reason I'm, I do not answer the phone, I can leave a voicemail, and I'll be happy to give anyone a call back. Okay. Okay. And let's tell the viewers out there, why would they want to call you to see if the ticket has arrived? Yes, okay. I need the original ticket in my hand so I can have it in the system and ready to go. And the reason that I have that policy is I do not want to for someone to come in with a ticket, not be able to read something clearly, or when I get the original, you duplicate. There can be mass misjustice there. If you issue a warrant by mistake, I absolutely do not want that to happen to anyone. So mm -hmm. I just for my protection, for citizens' protection, it's just better if I have the original from the police department before I take anyone's money. Excellent, excellent. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> a good explanation of the reason why. <clears throat> okay. So I thought maybe as well, um, uh, Tabitha, maybe you could tell the folks uh, when court will be held, uh, the times sure. and, and things like that. Sure. Our first court date is in January. It'll be January the 4th. Um, it will start at 8.30, and I would suggest if you do have a court date that you arrive around, maybe around 8 a.m. to get checked in and ready to go. Um, we will have court on the first Thursday of every month, starting at 8.30. Okay. So that'll be when folks can go down there the first Thursday of every month um, uh, for, for their court date. But the, the rest of the month, now she will be there every day, uh, you know, Monday through Friday, mm -hmm. uh, to, to take fines and, and, and answer uh, questions that people may have. Uh, people need to remember she is down there by herself uh, in the sense that uh, there may be times during the normal work hours, like right now, for example, once you have to leave and do something else and, 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 and close the court up. So it might be a good idea to call uh, whenever you want to go down there just to make sure she is there. 
uh, because again, there might be times that she would have to leave the court, lock it. Uh, we'll put a sign on the window indicating when she'll return, mm -hmm. uh, just so folks don't waste their time and understand that uh, that uh, for the for the most part, uh, you know, she's going to be there. But there may be times when she has to leave the court unattended and locked up. Mm -hmm. Well, I really like the explanation of making sure that you have in your hand a copy of the ticket from the arresting officer. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. So, so just uh, folks just need to remember that uh, any anything uh, anything that they've gotten as far as tickets are, con tickets are concerned prior to November 1st, they will go to uh, the Bentonville Court. Uh, after November 1st, they'll come up to the Be Bella Vista Court. So that's a pretty good uh, demarcation line as to what court you're going to go to. Yes. Plus, it should be clear on the ticket that you got which court you should attend. Okay. And the location of the court is where? We're at 612 West Lancashire Boulevard. Okay, and if I'm a person that just goes by, is it across the street from, or it's next to, or close to? We're next to the Bella Vista Community Development Office, right oh. next door. All right. And near, du near Duffers, which most, yes. most people in Bella Vista know, uh, a little eating establishment called yes. Duffers. Duffers is great. All right, excellent, excellent. Sounds good. Well, good. So um, um, that's sort of uh, the ins and outs of, of our court system. Um, again, if anybody had any questions reference that, they can call uh, down at the court. Mm -hmm. uh, or they can also call the police department at our non-emergency number, which is 479-855-3771. Uh, they can call that number as well if they have any questions reference their fines or where to go to pay it. I also believe, uh, and I don't know if it's quite set up yet, but there'll be an option in, in the near future uh, to pay these fines online yes. or, or to pay some of these fines online. So that might mm -hmm. be a good option for folks who just decide, you know what, I did whatever the, you know. I got the ticket for, and I'm I'm okay with it, and I just want to pay my fine and be done with it. Uh, there, there'll be some convenience here in the near, near future to do that online as well. Okay. Now, if I'm a person receiving a ticket, and I I want to <clears throat> dispute the authenticity of it, or not the authenticity so much sure. as the circumstances. In my judgment, maybe. sure. It uh, wasn't necessary, but. Uh, would they run that through you then? Well, I cannot give anybody legal advice because I'm not an attorney. Mm -hmm. But my suggestion would to be if you have any questions about your ticket or um, you know, you think that maybe you shouldn't have received the ticket, then you need to come to court, um, speak with the prosecutor, the judge, and then you can go from there. Okay. okay. So, so that's when folks would go on their court date. And so that'd be yes. that, one, that one day a month when the court will be open and the judge will be there. If they don't want to just pay the fine and they want to dispute the ticket for some reason, they're not happy with the circumstances or they believe maybe there were some extenuating circumstances, then they can absolutely go talk with the judge about that and, and see if the judge uh, you know, uh, agrees with them and the judge could decide what, what he wants to do with the ticket at that point. Uh, and it's, it's totally within the judge's power at that point uh, to do whatever he needs to do with that ticket. Okay. That's the judge's power, not your power. Correct. Okay. Because I know sometimes people say, well, let, let me tell you the circumstances. And, you know, it's like, uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> the, the judge makes all the decisions. My job is just to make sure everything is entered and ready for him to view and, and um, for the court process to take place. And then I take care of handling whatever he says, and I make it so. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Well, good. Yeah, so that's, that's sort of... Uh, that's sort of uh, the, the ins and outs and workings of the Bella Vista Court. Uh, some other things uh, I thought that uh, would be good for folks to know at this time. Um, you know, uh, our, our Citizens Police Academy that we talked about uh, several times in the past. Mm -hmm. uh, we just graduated our fourth Citizens Police Academy last night. So we're really proud of those folks, 16 uh, citizens of Bella Vista uh, graduated from that and, and they were excited and it, it was a really good class. And, uh, we already have, uh, I believe, two applicants uh, for our spring academy, uh, and I encourage uh, folks in Bella Vista, if they want to know more about their police department, they want to know more about why we do the things we do, or they've just been interested in law enforcement, they just, they just want to learn more about the community itself, uh, to please uh, call the police department, call that non-emergency number, uh, and, and ask for an application and tell the folks you want to sign up for the Citizens Police Academy in the spring. Uh, I would hurry up and do that as quick as you can because they fill up pretty quick. We can only take about a maximum of 16, 16 uh, uh, citizens who want to do that at a time. Mm -hmm. We only do two academies a year right now. Uh, we do one in the spring and one in the fall. 
Uh, and so if you think you're interested, please call now and, uh, and let's get your name uh, down and, and, and save a slot for you. All right. And is there a fee for that? There's not. It's, it's free. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything. Uh, it'll cost you uh, one night a month. Uh, I'm sorry, one night a week uh, for 10 weeks. It'll be a Tuesday evening. Uh, you'll come out on Tuesday evening uh, from about uh, 6 p.m., um, you know, for two or three hours, depending on what we have going on that night. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and again, we'll go over the various th things uh, that, that, that law enforcement does. Uh, maybe with investigations, uh, you'll have a night where you talk about investigations, which is basically what the, the detectives do. Uh, forensics, you know, how to take fingerprints and, and, and what sort of forensics we look for at crime scenes. Uh, you'll have a, a night where you talk about traffic, which is basically traffic enforcement, the things we do as far as that's concerned. Uh, we'll have a night when the canine officer comes out with his dog Cabo uh, and they give a canine demonstration and talk about that. Uh, there'll be a, a weekend when you go to the range and, and shoot some of the various uh, uh, guns that we have uh, that our officers deployed with on an apartment. Uh, there'll be a day when uh, you uh, go to the court and learn about the court as well uh, and how the court system works. Uh, you'll talk with our staff attorney uh, as well as possibly the judge uh, who is going to be overseeing uh, our district court. Um, uh, there'll be another day when, uh, uh, boy, um, well, there's a couple of the, oh, you'll, you'll have a day when you go to the county jail and, uh, and take a look at the jail. Uh, and so it's, it's, really, it's really an exciting course, and it's very interesting. And, and I have not had one complaint from folks who have gone through it, uh, and everybody's raved about it. And as a matter of fact, most of the people we get for the follow-up uh, Citizens Police Academies, uh, we get from uh, current folks that have gone through, and then they tell their friends about it. Mm -hmm. Yes, I remember we've had a couple of them on the show, and they just come away very excited and... Uh, it's just nice to know the things that aren't commonly told. Sure. And uh, thank you for having that, pro that program available for the people here in Bella Vista. Well, absolutely. And I, I thank the citizens of Bella Vista for being so involved and interested in their police department. Uh, it's really exciting for me as a chief of police to have that support. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, we'll continue to provide it as long as we get folks who want to do it. Now, we may end up putting one more on and have three a year if we can handle it. It's, it's, it's quite intensive on my staff, but uh, if we get the interest and keep filling the classes up to maximum, then we may, we may put a third one on eventually. Oh, excellent, excellent. Uh, well, there's a lot of people here in Bella Vista, I'm sure, who would like to go because, you know, <clears throat> you can't sell a program any better than having somebody who's gone through sure. and has experienced that and comes away excited, you know, because a lot of times when people are, are given an invitation to go to some kind of training, it's, oh, who needs that? Or why, why am I going to this or that program? But when they come away as excited as some that we've had on the air here, um, it's very beneficial. Sure, absolutely. I think it is. It's one of the good, a great program. Uh, and it just falls in line with community policing and and you know, keeping the community safe and working in partnership with the, with the folks in Bella Vista, because like I've always said, uh, you know, we, you know, law enforcement, the police department can only uh, police uh, with the consent of the community. So we need yeah, the community yeah. support to actually get the job done, mm -hmm. uh, and and we're fortunate enough to have that here. Oh, well, excellent, excellent. What more do we need to know about your task? Well, we probably should mention my hours. I open at 8 a.m. Close at 4 p.m. Um, so I can get some things done at the end of the day. Um, and I closed from 12 to 1 for lunch. All so right. um, I thought that would be important to mention. Um, what would you like to know? Do you handle all kinds of, of, of uh, tickets that are issued by the police department? Not quite. We do traffic tickets, misdemeanors. We do not hear any felony cases. Those go to a different court level. Those go to the circuit court. Mm. So the District Court of Bella Vista, there's no jury trials or anything like that. We have bench trials, um, but there are no juries at this court level and no felonies. Okay. And generally speaking, if, if you get a ticket, it's legitimate and it, it's you're not there to uh, make available the opportunity to dispute it, are you? No, not at all. If someone wants to come in and pay their ticket, that it's pleading guilty to the ticket, 
Um, I'll be happy to do that for you if it, if it is a ticket that you can appear and pay. Um, there are some tickets that you have to appear in court, but they, they note that on the ticket at the very bottom, it'll say must appear. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. In okay. that instance, they don't really have a choice. You have to come to court and see the judge and, and have your day in court. Yes, yes. All right. That's good to know. So, so uh, Ms. Titchener mentioned uh, about a bench trial, and I just wanted to explain, uh, explain to the folks in Bella Vista a little bit who may not know what that is. And so, well, we don't do jury trials, so we don't have where you're, you're, you're tried in front of a, a jury of your peers. Mm -hmm. We do what's called bench trials which means uh, basically the, the, the judge is making the decision as opposed to the jury. And so you'll, you'll explain to the judge uh, why or why not you, 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 you know, things happened and, and, and why you don't think you should deserve a ticket or whatever the case is. Mm -hmm. And then the judge in the end will make the final decision as opposed to if we had a jury trial, the jury would make that decision. And so it's, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a quicker way of doing things and, and that's just, it's, 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 a, it's a method that's used in a lot of lower, lower level misdemeanor type cases. Uh, and so, so those are the types of trials we'll do here. Uh, jury trials and, and big felony trials will be done in other courts. Now, if I receive a ticket, how will I know what kind of a trial I'm going to have before I go to you? Or does the arresting officer say the type of a oh, no. court hearing you have? No, you just, um, you either decide if you're going to pay the ticket or if you want to appear before the judge. And when you appear before the judge, you're going to be there for an arraignment, and that's guilty or not guilty. Um, and you, you know, you can kind of think about paying the ticket and decide, no, I want to go to court and then get there and say, I did it, I'm guilty. And that's totally fine. That's completely up to um, the citizen. Um, but you, when your first court appearance happens, it's an arraignment. And then it kind of goes from there. If you plead not guilty, then it's going to go to the next type of hearing, which is the plea discovery. And so then from that point, you know, you can make a, a, a plea um, arrangement with the prosecutor or it can go on to the bench trial where the judge decides here's all the mm -hmm. evidence and decides mm -hmm. okay it's good to know good to know sometimes they're not just one and done kind of thing sometimes you have to appear multiple times before we get to the conclusion oh so. okay okay so you better be sure that you want to <laughs> have a lengthy trial as opposed to a one-shot pay the fine it's completely up to the individual. Everyone yes. has that right to decide. So. All right. Yeah. So, so one more thing I wanted to cover <clears throat> before our time runs out, just because it's coming and we're coming into the holidays. Uh, we have a we have a um, a program called Shop with a Cop, mm -hmm. uh, which I know most folk, folks are very familiar with. Uh, our Shop with a Cop date uh, this year is uh, is December sixth. Uh, and and uh, people aren't familiar with it. What that is is we work with Cooper Elementary School, uh, and they help us identify who they believe are some disadvantaged uh, young folks who who may not, uh, without some assistance, have a very good Christmas. Mm -hmm. uh, and and uh, they help us identify those children. And then December sixth, we'll go down there with a bunch of my officers. Uh, we'll get with those kids and we'll hop on a bus together. Uh, we'll go up to uh, I believe it's Walmart. Uh, and then uh, we will, with some donations and, uh, from the community and some money we have, uh, we'll help those kids uh, buy a few toys. A lot of times uh, it's things they need that they want, first of all, clothing items and things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, and, then, uh, and then hopefully a, a toy or two to, to brighten up their Christmas a little bit. And so uh, that'll be December 6th. I know many times a lot of folks want to donate to that. Uh, to help us and assist us. Uh, they're welcome to do so. Uh, our our uh, FOP, Fraternal Order of Police, uh, will be running shop with a cop this year. Uh, and uh, Officer Brian Bunch, I'm sorry, Corporal Brian Bunch, uh, is who is the president, and he'll, he'll be running it. So if folks are interested in making donations, uh, I would encourage them to go and call our non-emergency number. Uh, and, and we can go and arrange, uh, uh, we can go and get you ba basically uh, in contact with uh, with uh, Corporal uh, Brian Bunch, and uh, you can make those donations to the FOP, which will then be used for the shop with the cop. Okay, okay. Now, if I make a donation like that, do I get any kind of a receipt or uh, so that I can claim it to the, on the tax or something like that? You know, I, 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 I'm not sure. You probably could get something from uh, Corporal Bunch, from the FOP. Okay. I'm sure they have uh, some official receipts uh, that they can give you as far as that's concerned. 
um, you know, if, if, uh, if you want to ever make it, and we get this at times, we get folks who just want to come to the police department and donate something. Mm -hmm. uh, you could always donate if you want to and be specific about what you want it for. Matter of fact, uh, a while back we had uh, an individual donate um, uh, some money to the department. They wanted specifically to go to our canine unit, our, our, mm -hmm. our, our canine officer with, uh, with his dog. Uh, and they gave some specifics of how they wanted it used, and then we, we were able to accept that money, and we used it for the actual canine unit itself. Okay, excellent, excellent. We have just a few minutes remaining. Any other points that we've missed as far as your function? I would like everyone to know that the District Court of Bella Vista, we accept all forms of payment. You can pay in cash. We t accept checks. Um, you send a money order through the mail or a check, and um, credit cards. So it's just however you would like to pay. Um, but again, make sure and give me a call. We'll make sure I have that ticket and um, we'll get you taken care of. Yes. So um, also, we do have an open house coming um, up. It's going to be December the 1st from 4 to 6 p.m. at the court building. If anyone would like to come in and check out the new facility and kind of take a look around and see um, this new court that the city is providing and, and kind of take part and we'll have some cookies mm -hmm. and stuff. Everybody can come in and do a little munching and looking around and, and see what the city has done for everyone. Oh, that's excellent. That's excellent. And it sounds like you're providing a service that we haven't had here for a long time, but it has been needed. Absolutely. And we want to thank you for organizing that and getting it all started because I know <clears throat> I've been told and I've been at court as not paying a fine, but as a juror. And you can walk past the people who are hmm. sitting outside waiting. And <clears throat> and it seems no matter what the reason is that you are coming to court, whether you're a juror or yes. um, you're having to appear for a ticket or something else, it's not someone something that someone sees as pleasant. You don't really want to go to court. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, if you have any questions or concerns about it, I'm there. I will answer whatever questions that I can. Excellent, excellent. I know sometimes people say, how you been getting along? I say, well, I had to go to court today. <laughs> and then you say, well, tell me about going to court. <laughs> and it's, it's, uh, <clears throat> it's not really a pleasant experience, but it is a pleasant experience as far as the efficiency goes. Absolutely. And uh, it's nice to know these things that you've talked about today that will help those who, are, who will be getting more familiar with the court system. Absolutely. Yeah. I want to thank you for bringing her, your guest along today. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, I think in future shows we, we look forward to you having some of your support people. Yeah, I think that's important and, and, and we'll do that. I have some more folks that I'd like to bring along uh, next time and get some more information, uh, specific information out to the citizens. Yes, I know a couple of times we've had the police dog on uh, in the years past, not just recently, but in years past, and uh, all those uh, additional functions that are performed by the police department, I think people out there in the village know that that's the resource that can be used for that kind of help when and why we have it to begin with. Okay. Sure, absolutely. All right, well, we'll look forward to having you on with your future guest. Absolutely, you bet. And if any time you have something that you'd like to make sure that the viewers out there know about, a change in the system that might be beneficial to them, let us know and we'll schedule a time for that purpose. Outstanding, thank you. Yes, thank you. Anything else? Um, well, um, you know, just, just I want citizens, you know, to be aware uh, with the holidays, there's, uh, you know, we always have a problem with scams in Bella Vista. We always have a problem of uh, folks trying to take advantage of other folks. Uh, yes. You know, with the holiday seasons, it, it, it gets even more rampant. So be careful when folks are calling, uh, asking for donations, and when they're soliciting because uh, you want to verify many times uh, of who you're dealing with because, well, there's a lot of needy folks out there, and there's a lot of good organizations that are collecting money. Uh, in, in a good in a good way to really help people. There's also a lot of times when when less uh, scrupulous people uh, use this uh, this season when people are very generous uh, mm -hmm. to take advantage of folks' uh, generosity and, and and take their money and, and, and scam them for uh, for money that uh, is not used in the manner that they said it was going to be used for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
And also, as the winter season is approaching, we want to be sure that you have your automobile in good shape for any winter trips or just for everyday trips, having the right kinds of things in your car in case you have a flat tire or you break down like an extra jacket or a blanket, mm -hmm. uh, something that will help you through that stressful period of time. Yeah, I think, you know, we do need to start preparing for the weather change. Um, we've had a couple accidents already um, uh, on, uh, on West Chelsea. Uh, I'm sorry, e uh, East Chelsea uh, uh, near Concordia. Uh, there's some turns there, some steep turns. So be careful. The roads are wet, and they're just going to get icy as it gets colder. So slow down a little bit and get to where you, you need to get safely. All right. All right. Well, we want to thank you very much for bringing your guests today. It's been very informative. And I'm sure the viewers out there appreciate it just as much as I do. I'm learning just like they are. <clears throat> so continue to think of guests that you think would be of interest to the viewers out there. And uh, we'll make good use of their time. Absolutely. We'll do that. All right. All right. And we also, I believe today, uh, want to recommend, if you have any questions at all that you'd like us to be asking the police department on future shows, Call us here at 855-4040, your age and mine, <laughs> and leave the question on the phone, and we will be sure to answer it or ask it on the next program. And we also want to thank you very much today for being here, and we want to thank you viewers out there for tuning us in. <laughs>